In this video, we'll discuss virtual simulations. So virtual simulations are the recreation of reality depicted not only on computer screen but can also be on smartphones and other technologies na meron tayo. Virtual simulations is an application designed to imitate a real-life situation. So madalas ginagamit to, to graphically represent how things might look and feel. And through virtual simulation, it injects the human, tayo, uh, in the central role where we exercise yung motor skill, uh, cognitive skill, kung paano, pa, kung paano tayo mag-come up ng decision, and pati na rin yung ating communication skills. So, we have the following benefits of simulation. Unang-una, simulation facilitate kinesthetic learning. Ito yung tinatawag natin na learn by doing. Ito kasi yung most effective way to teach or to learn. So, in the healthcare, syempre ang ating mga professional doctors, hindi naman yan natuto na mag-operate na sinabi lang sa kanila or pinakita lang sa kanila. So, syempre, the best way to learn is for them to experience pa paano yung actual procedure. And then, through simulation, it provides relevant feedback. So, napakahalaga ng feedback when it comes to, re to simulation kasi dito natin nalalaman ano yung mga maling ginawa natin and then paano natin may co-correct yung mga behavior and mga decision na na-encounter natin through simulation. And with that, and I encourage din ang failure. Marami kasi sa mga tao ang natututo to trial and error. So through simulation, uh, hindi tayo matatakot na mag-fail or magkamali ng decision. Kasi uh, pwede natin i-explore yung mga what-if questions natin and then we have the freedom to experiment and then try different routes or certain actions. And then, encouraging failure, simulation show the real world consequences. So, panagkamali tayo through simulations, makikita natin ano yung possible outcome or effect. Not only doon sa immediate outcome, for example, nagkamali ka ng saksak or nagkamali ka ng connection na it's either masira or pumotok yung isang equipment, so pwede rin makita through simulation yung long-term effects okay, na consequence ng iyong decision. And simulation eliminate risk. So, madalas kasi sa mga simulation, ito yung may mga life-threatening activities. So, to avoid danger or loss of life, gumagamit ng simulation. In the earliest adoption, madalas ang simulation for flight and military training. Okay? Ito kasi yung mga hazardous profession na panagkamali ka ng galaw, it could be either life-threatening or mag-result uh, mag sa pagkamatay. Next, Simulation verify proficiency. So, unlike doon sa mga alternative learning methods natin kagaya ng multiple choice or other objective type, uh, ang simulation kasi, it requires the learner to demonstrate yung knowledge and understanding nila ng situation. So, through simulation, it significantly increase yung likelihood na yung learner natin is makapasa ng isang practical or evaluation exam kasi nga napapractice natin yung procedure multiple times in simulated format. And through simulation, it reduces the forgetting curve. So sa mga study, pinapakita na pag nagtatransfer ang brain natin ng knowledge into long-term memory, we forget majority ng mga natututunan natin. Especially kung yun ay through methods like printed manuals lang, mga lecture or mga static e-learning modules. So, yung kinesthetic aspect kasi ng training simulation natin, it helps us to, so, to solidify yung information in which ina-apply kasi natin siya into actual scenarios. That's why mas matagal nag stay through simulations yung knowledge doon sa ating brain. And then lastly, simulation combined learning techniques. So, unlike kasi sa mga traditional na classroom training, ang simulation kasi it is far more flexible. Pwede kasi tayo mag-incorporate ng mga multiple learning techniques. Pwede nga tayo maglagay ng mga additional uh, points kagaya ng for achievements level. Pwede rin tayo magdagdag ng mga timer. And then pwede rin natin siyang uh, implement. Pwede sa mobile, not only sa computer, or using the VR or yung virtual uh, reality technology. So napaka-flexible ng ating pagdating ng simulation. Other advantages ng simulation natin, uh, pwede natin itong gamitin to test yung product or system bago natin siya i-build or implement. And pwede rin natin itong magamit to find unexpected problems. 
And lastly, simulations can speed things up or slow them. So, kagaya ng climate change. So, pwede na through simulations, pwede nating ipakita what will happen after 10 years, 20 years, and so on. Okay? On the other part, we'll have the following disadvantages naman ng simulation. Unang-una, they aren't the real thing. So, since hindi siya totoo, pwede kasing in real life magkaroon ng pagbabago kung paano tayo mag-react or mag-decide, especially pagdating na sa uh, situation na merong real danger. Okay? So, pwede kasi tayo mag-panic at hindi na tayo masyado makapag-isip. And unlike kasi sa simulation, in real life kasi walang walang control sa ito, eh. walang undo, walang restart. So, pa nagkamali ka ng decision, uh, hindi mo na siya pwedeng baguhin, hindi mo na rin siya pwedeng ulitin. Especially pa nagkaroon na ng danger, uh, ng life-threatening danger o kaya naman is loss of life. So, wala ka na magagawa doon. And simulation, it can be expensive. Siyempre, you, you, you will be needing equipments, uh, personnel, and then hardware and software materials. Kaya, Kung gusto mo magkaroon ng simulation, kailangan mong gumastos. Okay? Kaya, uh, depende sa simulation, but most simulation kasi, lalo na yung mga talagang uh, for professional, medyo kailangan na siyang bigyan ng medyo masakit na budget. Okay with that. Kaya, mahal pagdating sa simulation. And lastly, a thorough understanding is needed. So, para mag-work kasi yung simulation, kailangan pinag-aralan siyang mabuti. Thorough research is done. Kasi magkamali ka lang kahit maliit na detalye niyan, uh, pwedeng magkaroon ng malaking factor yan sa outcome. So, dapat every angle, every small detail, kailangan po pinag-aralan talaga. Okay? Para at least yung simulation kasi, dapat kasi talaga to, it must uh, show yung real life situation, ano nga ba talaga yung possible na mangyari. Okay? So, we have the following references, okay, and then ito yung mga images. So, proceed tayo sa pagbigay uh, ng example ng isang simulation na meron. So, sa online, napakaraming simulations na meron dyan. Uh, pwede ka rin mag-download na kung may available na offline for your computer or cell phones. So, ipapakita ko na lang dito sa SIM1. Okay? nag offer kasi sila ng mga virtual simulation and virtual patients. So, ito yung mga yan. Okay, uh, this is from Simulation Canada. Okay, so kahit hindi ka member, pwede mong gamitin. Yun nga lang, meron tayong iba't ibang licensing. So meron dyan mga free, pwede natin magamit. Yun nga lang, yung iba is commercial. So it's either kailangan mo maging member or kailangan mo magbayad ng certain amount. So ito yung iba't ibang scope or focus nila. So subukan natin yung free sa virtual healthcare experience. Okay, so tanggalin ko lang yung aking earphone para ma-record natin pati yung voice kasi uh, magta-try tayong gumamit ng simulation. Okay, so pupunta lang tayo dito sa ating virtual healthcare experience. So through this simulation, makikita natin yung actual experience natin. Okay, on a virtual or simulated uh, environment. So choose tayo ng area. So for example, nasa medical, surgical tayo. And then play natin yung game. So, we play the simulation game. Ito yung mga menu natin. We have the new game. So, resume. Kasi uh, if naglaro ka na before, kasi sinisave ng URL mo. You, or nasisave through cookies kasi. And then, we have the learning objectives. So, through this simulation, ito kasi yung matututunan mo. And then, how to play. So, ito yung mga controls natin. And then, lastly, we have the settings. So, kung gusto mong i-full screen or magdagdag ng subtitle. So, subukan natin ngayon, new game. So, ito yung situation natin na na-assign tayo to an orthopedic rehabilitation setting na yung patient natin na recovering for surgery. So, ano yung mga gagawin natin? Ano yung mga possible na situation na maharap tayo? So, continue natin. Okay, play lang natin. Okay, so mapapansin nyo kanina doon, meron tayong situation. So, pwede natin siyang skip. Okay? Pero much better na i-analyze natin yung situation. So, pwede natin siyang i-replay para makita natin. Then, after that, ito yung ating situation. So, how do we respond to the patient as he struggles with his 
side deal. So, ito yung iba't ibang possible na decision na gawin natin. Now, if we try, for example, we ask the patient to calm down. Calm down, Mr. Marshall. Don't tell me what to do. I have every right to be angry. I just want to get out of this bed. Jack? Why is that so hard to understand? It's not going to help anything. Please, calm down, Mr. Marshall. I will calm down when I get out of this bed. Okay, so as you can see, meron tayong feedback. Ibig sabihin, ah, uh, Uh, ito yung maling decision natin na uh, upset nga yung ating uh, patient tapos tatanungin natin sila to calm down. So makikita nyo, uh, ito yung pwede nating guide lalo na pag uh, naharap tayo sa ganong situation. So pwede natin siyang ulitin, okay? Ayun pa rin yung question and then we have ito pa rin yung ating mga option. So subukan natin the right one. So is patient, uh, we move closer to offer help. Okay, so makikita nyo, after the first situation, meron na naman tayong another situation. So, ito naman yung susunod. So, paulit-ulit lang natin gagawin until ma-end tayo ng simulation. So, in this particular simulation kasi, chine-check lang yung ating uh, reaction kung paano tayo magre-respond doon sa patient base doon sa condition or yung given situation. Okay? So, pa-exit na natin to And then, pwede nyo itry yung mga other. Uh, Unang-una dito, meron pa naman siyang other... Uh, map, so area, or pwede nating itry, or pwede nyong itry yung other virtual simulation platform na meron dito. So as long as free yan, ayan. Okay, baka meron lang uh, simulation dyan na mag-require ng mag-download ng additional component, o kaya naman you need uh, external devices. So pwede nating isa-isa para makita natin. And then depende rin kung ano yung, plat, uh, yung focus o yung scope na gusto nating malaman. Okay, so that's all for virtual simulations. Uh, thank you for watching and keep safe.